Harold Miller woke up one morning and found that his exquisite blood-red boots had been taken in the night. You're not my boots. Take me to my boots, please. Have you got a street knife? Just go forward very slowly so I can look at people's feet. These are my clogs, by the way. I usually wear very fine boots. Only last week he'd been showing them off for a family get-together. This week he was sobbing bootless in a taxi. <laughs> recognize him? Do you recognize him? Uh, where do I know him from? Is he off the telly? Lovely place, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yes. I've, I've been here before, actually. Oh. A long time ago now. Oh, what a coincidence. Mm. So, uh, I don't know if you've met the couple of owning, but it's, uh, it's oh. quite a story. Yes, yes. I've been here before, been here before actually. actually. Reprobate! Those drinks were for later! Ugh. Leave your hat! <laughs> Stand down, Gordon! Stand down! Hello, Skip. Hello, Keith. I just want you to know I do think about you. About that day. I'm sorry, Skip. Hello? Hello, Mr. Jameson. This is mm -hmm. Mike at the Suicide Hotline. We understand you're going to commit suicide today? I'm sorry, who is this? Not a soul has died on this island for nearly four months. I, I can't blame a rent. <laughs> Billy, you want the wacky backy again? I shouldn't tell you this, but I know why. Why is that, Ben? I locked death in Arnold's barn. <laughs> death. He was coming for me, but I hid behind the door. And then when he came in, I nipped out, bolted it. Not as clever as you'd think. Yeah. So, uh, back in November, I can't remember the exact date, uh, Vernon and I came here about a half, 10, 11 uh, at night, and we couldn't find any water, but we did see a light. And it was then that uh, Vernon was abducted up the ass. Everything. Is that everything? 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 